when you're a footballer, your sacrifice is made when you're younger, yeah. before you make it. Then when you come to the other side of the game and you become a manager, it's that sacrifice all over again. It's and it feels like you're building something really special here at Burnley. It's been it's been special up to this point anyway. You know, um, I think all of us have been in the right environment to to improve and develop, and it's been a good place for us. It was six weeks by the time you took over to the start of the season. How on earth did you manage it so quickly? Put in a lot of hours. Try try and make uh, one day feel like a week. And um, I think there was one advantage I had is that the championship is very similar to the uh, Jupiler Pro League in Belgium, the level where I was at before. So I could kind of fill in the gaps quite quickly with, with the knowledge I had. In terms of your team here at Burnley, what does it stand for? I think we, we share something very similar with the area where we're in in Burnley. It's uh, just hard work at the very top of everything. Go! Open up! We just love the pain. You know, I think a lot of the fans before I came in thought that we were going to be another Sunderland story or Derby County and um, sliding down the leagues because you know um, everything was geared up to be a perfect catastrophe almost. And so the, the, from the moment I came in, I've, I felt the full support of, of the community and, and I felt a lot of positivity you know, in terms of, okay, this is a, a new page, a fresh page, and we've been backed unconditionally in, in, in every moment. What would you say some of the similarities and differences are between being a player and you as a manager? I think as a manager you do get the same kind of emotional connection with the fans, with the game that you would have if, if you were a player. Uh, but the biggest difference I think is it's the sacrifice when you're a manager. When you're a footballer, your sacrifice is made when you're younger, yeah. before you make it. Then when you come to the other side of the game and you become a manager, it's that sacrifice all over again. You know, it's um, morning when you wake up until night when you go to bed. And for what I can remember from my last night as well, in your dreams too, <laughs> you know, so it's, <laughs> it's, it's Replaying with you Replaying every time. moment, constantly. Yeah, all the time. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's almost like working more like a computer where you, you're constantly having this kind of chess game in your head where you're playing all these scenarios. But it's been a good, healthy transition for me. I've now had a a massive hangover from ending my football career and going into something else. It's something you have to enjoy and I, I, I thoroughly enjoy it. You have had so many amazing moments at the Etihad. But if you can only pick one, what one would you choose? Kun Aguero's goal, no doubt. He's got it through! It's Sergio Aguero! Define our careers. This moment played a big part in where the club is today. And obviously in the FA Cup, that trophy is special to you because it's one of the first ones you won with Manchester City. Yeah, I think it's what made everyone believe that, that it's possible. And I think we broke down that barrier a little bit on that day. And from that moment onwards, you felt that every trophy that was there to play for, we, we felt we were a part of it. In terms of Pep, Describe, please, just the influence he has had on you. It's only when I met Pep that everything started making sense, you know, uh, the use of spaces, the discipline of positions as well, the way to recover the ball, keep the ball. They kind of made sense because of the way he explained it. And, and then I just went and built my own ideas with it. Yeah, I can't deny the influence he's been as a, as a catalyst to, to me being here today. Mm -hmm.